<laughs> also, the winner of last year's Landmark Six right. presenting the award. Oh! Jesus Christ! Yeah! Tell me! 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 Was my reaction. I thought they were all retarded and I didn't want anything to do with them. So I was like, I'll find all the cool places on my own with me and my friends. And we were in the uh, the Pillsbury or the, the head race over and at I didn't the Diego. Think that out. Thank you. It's not all about you, John Garrett. It's about him right now. So we go in there, we explore, and we notice this very interesting, peculiar shaft that seems to drop straight down into what I thought was the tail races. And I couldn't get into the tail races at the time because they'd welded that door shut. It was like, sick, yes. backdoor entrance into the tail race. I'll just bring some repelling gear and I'll bring a life jacket because there's water. And if I have a life jacket, I'm safe because that's how water works, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's normally how water works. The problem with this water is that it was very, very, very fucking cold. So me and my two friends, Cole, who is known to you as the Pillsbury Doughboy and no, <laughs> and no longer explores, and my other friend Kyle decided to, we're going to rappel into there. So we rappel into there and it's ass shit. It's like a 20 foot long tunnel that's sealed on both sides and it was fucking freezing. Like my balls hit the water and shot up into my stomach. <laughs> At that point I knew I'd, I'd done goofed. <laughs> So we swim over to like the little ledge thing or whatever by the wall to dry off and try to figure out how the fuck we're going to get out of here. Oh yeah, also, we're all broke college students, so we thought we would ascend on the cheap by tying prussic knots, which, <laughs> which works real well if you're not freezing and your hands aren't numb. <laughs> so basically, I had to swim back to the rope, tie these stupid fucking knots on there, and like, my hands were basically meat claws at this point, so I just sort of like, <laughs> like, I had like a fucking arm under here, I'm just like shoving my elbow up. Up with my like hand frozen to the knot to try to get the fuck out of the water and I finally get to the top Kyle makes it up to the top my friend Cole's still down there he's been in the water longer than any of us and he's like uh guys you know if I swim to the rope and can't get the knots on I'm kind of fucked and we're like all right fair enough you know what should what should we do here he's like you should probably call the fire department and I'm like all right you know fair enough I wasn't gonna make him you know, swim through Arctic shit or whatever. Just okay. Whatever. I so, I go out with my friend Kyle. I send Kyle home because I figured we didn't need two arrests. One would be plenty. Two thirds is acceptable. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I call, I call 911 and I'm like, hey, Mrs. Dispatcher Lady or whatever, can you just send me a fire truck? I'm, she's like, why? I'm like, my friend's stuck in a well. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, look, I buy the Pillsbury Mill over in St. Anthony. Just send me a fire truck. Like, it'll be fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's like, we'll, we'll handle this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And it's fine. so a fire truck comes no. along with like three ambulances and a half dozen squad cars. And I'm, I'm just like, I know, I'm just fucked. <laughs> so the cop shows up first and he's talking to me and he's like, you know, where are they? Where are they? Or whatever. I'm like, you're not going to find it. It's like, just show me where the fuck you went in. I'm like, it's not going to help you any. Yeah. <laughs> and I finally, he's like, he, you know, won't. Like, fine, I'll show it to you, and I show it to him, and he's like, yeah, that Fuck doesn't that. help me any, yeah. <laughs> I guess we should probably get the firefighters here. I'm like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> so, we go back up, and the firefighters take a look at it, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to fit either, and I'm like, okay. Now, I knew the, like, the head race connected to the Pillsbury Mill at this point. I knew there was that ladder there. I'd never gone up it, so I was like, well, we can get into the building. You can probably find the ladder that goes down to the head race and go that way, because, you know, fire guys can climb ladders, right? Otherwise... <laughs> Oh, firefighters. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do that. And the cops like, all right, all right, I got this. He starts trying to like lock pick the front door, and then I turn around, and at this point I realize firefighters are badasses. Because one of them's got a fucking axe and just packing out the door on the side while the cops dig you around in the front door. Day. He was pumped, dude. Like he had that like, yes, smile on his face. Fuck and he's yeah. like, he's like, hang it down. They're like, come on, kid, show us where he is or whatever. So I'm running around the fucking Pillsbury A mill, and I've never been in there before. And like the connection, it's just a tiny fucking hole in the ground. It's like this big. 
And I couldn't fucking find it because it's a rat's nest down there. So I'm yeah. like, all right, just give me a skinny firefighter. We'll go back through the head race, go up the ladder, and then we'll like, you know, meet up with them that way or whatever. And I got like the, the skinny firefighter who also took one look at the fucking engines and was like, I'm not going to fucking fit. So I'm like, all right, just give me your flashlight. I'll go back in there, go up the ladder, and bring the fucking firefighters down. And they're like, fine, I guess you've done it before. I'm like, I've done it a couple times. Like, don't tell me that shit, I don't care. Just go in there and bring the guys down. So I go in there, go up the ladder, bring a couple firefighters down. At this point, they're just kind of like, I felt like an amateur firefighter is pretty sweet. <laughs> they were like asking me questions and like, you know, devising their tactics with me. They're like, you know, what do you think the best way to get them out is? So, like, hey, hey. <laughs> so one of the firefighters is like, well, we have all this really expensive equipment and we should use it and like pop manhole lids and set up like electric pulley systems and the other firefighters are like, there's like 20 of us and one skinny kid. Why don't we just throw a rope down there and lift him out? <laughs> like, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> so he's like, alright, you know, how many firefighters do you think we're going to pull this? I'm like, I don't know, like five or something like that? Like, it's not that bad. I'll just, and I was like, I'll just drop my harness down there, you can put that in. You guys bring down your rope, and we'll just yank him on there. Like, alright, cool, sounds good. The firefighters get down there, I drop the harness down to Cole, and, yeah, and you can barely hear him, you just hear these little, like, hello? <laughs> like, you guys gonna get me? Like, little sounds. Waking up from this fucking pipe, it was pretty funny. And uh, so we get him the harness, we drop the rope down, they all get on the rope line, they just put a little skin mat on it, we just yank it, basically nothing happens, it was too much friction. So they brought down this like, fold out pulley that was actually super cool, and we should buy one of these. <laughs> it, it, it's like a fucking, like a hinge thing that opens up like this, and then clamps onto two edges. Microphone. And that, what's it called? Microphone. Microphone. Oh yeah, microphone. I was trying to... <laughs> That's not what it's called, you're tricking me. But it like folds out, there's a pulley in the middle, so we hook the rope up to that, and we all get on the rope, and we're like, gonna give it like, you know, a real good tug, because it didn't work before. And there's like 10 of us now, and I'm on the rope, and we're just like fucking yank it. Dude shoots up like 20 fucking feet, almost cracks his head on the thing, he's like, no, stop, 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 stop! And we're like, oh shit, we almost killed him. <laughs> so we gently pull him the rest of the way, and um, yeah, and at this point, the firefighters, they're pretty cool about it, they're like, we're just like hanging out on the rope line, they're like, you know, what are you doing down here? And one of them's like, no, dude, they're urban explorers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah. And then they told me I should apply to be an amateur firefighter, which I thought was pretty cool. And we get out of there, Cole gets sent to the hospital where they anally take his temperature to make sure he <laughs> And I'm just kind of like, you know, helping the fire guys clean up or whatever. And we finally exit the building. It's just like, you know, a nice solid evening of man work, basically. <laughs> and then that little cop who was fucking around with the door and hasn't done anything productive the entire night is like, you come with me. And like, okay, dude. And he gives me this whole, like, speech about, like, well, you shouldn't have been in there, but you didn't trespass through the building. You went into this weird pipe. And it's not even the building, it's the tunnel. I don't even know what like the tunnel's doing there. You were wrong. I don't do it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna charge you. And I'm like, all right, dude, sick. And then I leave, and the fire guys are just like, wait, dude, you gotta do all that and get charged. That's awesome. <laughs> And he's like, now turn around. And this is the fucking like battalion chief of the fire department in Minneapolis. He fucking gives me a kick in the ass and laughs and tells me, don't do it again. And if you do, go do it in St. Paul. 